السلام عليكم today I would like to uh, speak a little bit about the density of Q in R we say that Q is dense in R and we write like this the pleasure of Q is equal to R but before talking about this this uh, concepts I will recur from topology a little bit advanced level what we mean by the pleasure so let the topological space topo logical space <coughs> and let A be a subset from E we say that A is everywhere dense in E if the pleasure of A is equal to E but what this mean <coughs> sorry we say that x belongs to the pleasure of a if and only if definition for all neighbor from the neighborhood of x we have the neighbor the neighborhood intersection with a this is different from the empty set this definition is uh, is valid for a general topological space so we will translate this for r just for r here uh, E can be R or can be over things. And A is in this case is Q. But I keep this in keep this definition X X actually belongs to the set E. So X is a accumulation point or an isolated point of I. X belongs to the pleasure of A, which is from X. If for all the neighbors of X, <coughs> we have the intersection of W, intersection with A is different of M. So, I will translate this for R. So, from this, we start, we should start. For X in R, without loss of generality, we can suppose that the neighbors, the neighborhood of X, can be written as X minus Epsilon, X plus Epsilon for Epsilon positive for this. To prove that Q is dense in R, we have to prove that the pleasure of Q is equal to R. But to prove this, we have to prove the following. For X, any given X from R, we have to, uh, to, to show that for, for, for for all the neighbors of X, all the neighbors 
of the x takes take this far so for all epsilon greater than zero we should show that x minus epsilon x plus epsilon intersection with q is different from the empty set so if x <coughs> belongs to q x is from r but it it can from q so if x is from q for any epsilon x minus epsilon x plus epsilon x belongs to this open interval and then the intersection with q is different of uh, if empty set why because x is from q and the intersection it's obvious that it is different of q so we have to suppose that x is not in q it is in r is r minus without a q and these are the irrational the rational numbers they are the irrational numbers <coughs> so suppose that x is irrational if we take x minus epsilon x plus epsilon so x minus epsilon is an irrational and x plus epsilon is an irrational if we suppose that they are rational so if we add them we will get 2 times x which is a contradiction with x irrational so they are irrational I repeat if we suppose that x minus epsilon and x plus epsilon they take the, uh, the same nature if we suppose that they are rational if we add them we will get 2x minus epsilon cancel plus epsilon we will get 2 epsilon uh, 2x but x we suppose that it is irrational and from here we start at uh, university by saying if a and b are are irrational this intersection this is different of q if at least we find a rational between these two value between a and b so I said that from this uh, this step we start explaining this notion that Q bar is dense in R but what what we say to our student we say that Q is dense in R because between any irrational numbers we can find a rational one strictly included between them <coughs> and the existence of the rational number between a and b will ensure that the intersection with q is different of phi so i will start uh, now this is the origin of the, uh, the the problem or the origin of why we uh, say that we should find a rational number between two irrational number and this is equivalent to say that q is uh, everywhere dense in r or uh, is uh, dense in r the second step will concern we will concern <coughs> to show that between two irrational numbers 
we can find a rational number such that we will find this in in all books to say that Q is dense in R. But I try to explain why we have to prove this starting from the definition in a general case of the density of a subset of a, a topological space. So we start from here. We are in R and we have B and A, which are irrational. First of all, we, we will times A by Q and B by Q, such that the P over Q, <coughs> Q belongs to N without zero, starting from 1, 2, and so on, and P belongs to Z. So we times A and B by Q, such that Q multi, multi, my, times by, sorry, times by D minus A will be greater than one to ensure that the uh, integer parts belongs to uh, QA, QB. What we can take here, we can take here P equal to the inte integer part of QA plus one. <coughs> and this Q will be, will be <coughs> uh, chosen using this inequality. So from here Q is greater than 1 over B minus A. So we can choose it as the integer part from of B minus A plus 1. Completeness uh, axiom uh, gives us the right to write this. But from this strict inequality, we have Q times B is greater than 1 plus a Q times A from this one. But by definition of uh, P, <coughs> we have <coughs> QI is less than P, since it's the integer part plus one, and P <coughs> is less than or equal to what? This is, is less than or equal to a Q, Q, I, a Q, uh, Q, Q, I plus one. P is taken as QI plus 1. So this, this, this P is equal to this one. So if we put the integer part, this will be greater. So, so this is less than this one. But QA plus 1 is less than QB, which means is less than QB. 
uh, and by dividing by q both of the double inequalities we will get here and here if we erase this we will find this result and this is what we need i finish thank you see you next time